So here is another question on energy of an object or a body undergoing simple harmonic motion. So here it is given that a body of mass 0.1 kg is executing simple harmonic motion according to the equation y is equal to 0 0.5 cos 100t plus 3 pi by 4 where y is the uh, position of the object, the instantaneous position. We have to find the frequency of oscillation, the initial phase, maximum velocity, maximum acceleration, maximum kinetic energy, total energy and potential energy and kinetic energy at y is equal to 0 0.1 meter. At this particular position, 0 0.1 meter, we have to find both potential and kinetic energy. Okay. So, first as usual as we do, first write the standard SHM equation format. It can be in sine or cos, basically it is sinusoidal. So, here we will write it in cos because the given SHM equation is also in the format of cos. So, it will be easy. So, here y is equal to a cos omega t plus phi, a is the amplitude. Okay, so if we compare it with the given SHM equation that is 0 0.5 cos 100t plus 3 pi by 4, if we compare it then amplitude is equal to 0 0.5 uh, meters, yes this is in meters, okay, this much meters, okay, so this is 0 0.5 meter then angular frequency omega that is equal to 100 radians per second initial phase angle is equal to 3 pi by 4 radians so this uh, initial phase second bit we have already got initial phase angle that is 3 pi by 4 radian then we know that angular frequency omega that is equal to 2 pi f where f is frequency in hertz or second inverse. So frequency of oscillation which is f that is equal to omega by 2 pi which is equal to here 100 by 2 pi equal to 50 by pi hertz. So this is the frequency of oscillation that we have you know calculated then it has been asked to find the maximum velocity so if you remember the maximum velocity in shm that is equal to omega a omega angular frequency a amplitude omega is 100 radians per second amplitude is 0.5 okay meters so it is how much 50 meters per second that is equal to v max okay so this one we have calculated then maximum acceleration the acceleration maximum in shm that is equal to omega square a so again basically it is omega square that is uh, how much 100 square into how much uh, amplitude is 0.5 so that is equal to how much 5000 meters per second square so that is equal to the maximum acceleration so that also we have calculated here okay this one then it has been asked to determine the maximum kinetic energy okay kinetic energy we all know for a mass m it is given by one half m v square so kinetic energy will become maximum when this velocity will be maximum so 
the maximum velocity for this SHM motion we have calculated it is 50 meter per second. Mass of the object is how much? 0 0.1 kg. Okay. Mass is 0 0.1 kg. V max we have already calculated 50 meter per second. Simply we will substitute the values into 0 0.1 into 50 whole square. That is equal to it is coming around uh, 125 joules. So this is the maximum kinetic energy. Okay. This. Okay. Now. Then it has been asked to find the total energy. Now see. Total energy we can calculate using that uh, k square minus y square k that thing. Okay, let's first do it using that. We know that the kinetic energy in terms of the instantaneous position of the object that is given by one half k a square minus y square. Okay, a is the amplitude, y is the instantaneous position and k is the force constant or you know, for that particular mass. Then the potential energy is given by one half k y square. Total energy is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. So this will be one half k square minus one half k y square plus one half k y square. So this plus one half k y square and minus one half k y square that will get cancelled so it will be simply one half k a square so here k we will calculate we know that uh, the angular frequency omega is equal to root over of k by m that implies omega square is equal to k by m that implies k is equal to m omega square which is equal to how much 0 0.1 kg mass angular frequency is 100 radians per second so that becomes how much 1000 newton per meter okay this is the value of k the force constant so here simply we will substitute the value this is equal to the total energy one half k which is equal to 1000 newton per meter and a is the amplitude which is equal to 0 0.5 meter that is 0 0.5 whole square so this is coming around 125 joules that is the total energy okay this that is the total energy here this okay we will discuss some important thing okay but later first let us calculate uh, this uh, potential energy and kinetic energy at y is equal to 0 0.1 meter so here we'll substitute the value so kinetic energy at y is equal to 0 0.1 meter so it is one half into 1000 the force constant a is 0 0.5 whole square minus y which is 0 0.1 whole square so that is coming around uh, 120 joules and here potential energy one half into 1000 into y which is uh, 0 0.1 whole square that is equal to 5 joule okay potential energy and kinetic energy at y is equal to 0 0.1 meter okay now see here we calculated the maximum kinetic energy maximum kinetic energy occurs when potential energy is equal to 0 okay and maximum kinetic energy that is equal to 125 joule sum is equal to 
125 joule because potential energy is 0 125 plus 0 it is 125 joule okay then again here at y is equal to 0 0.1 meter kinetic energy 120 potential energy 5 joule sum of both which is 120 plus 5 which is equal to 125 joules okay then here also the total one half k square by this we, which we got that is also coming 125 joule so the thing which we studied while discussing the theoretical part and derivation part related to energy in SHM the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy throughout the whole SHM motion it is constant okay so in this case also it is uh, verified numerically it is 125 joule the total energy throughout the SHM motion no matter where the body is here the total energy will always be 125 joule okay so here we have calculated everything which was asked